Hello audience, my name is Mary. Mary wish you a good day and prosperity. Editor Mary would like to welcome you for visiting Health Fitness 1047 and here is the official news.nowc. One, the social network cast, where are they now? The 2010 film, The Social Network, which depicts the creation of Facebook and the legal challenges faced by co-founder Mark Zuckerberg, starred Jesse Eisenberg as Zuckerberg. The film, based on Ben Mesrick's book, The Accidental Billionaires, received critical acclaim, winning three Academy Awards for Best Adapted Screenplay. Best Original Score and Best Film Editing and earning eight nominations, including Best Picture and Best Actor for Eisenberg. It also won multiple Golden Globe Awards, including Best Motion Picture, Drama and Best Director. 2. Jenna Dewan's current obsessions include K-dramas, Billie Eilish and this gut-wrenching book Jenna Dewan. A busy actress and mother of three, including a four-month-old, shares that her interests often align with her children's due to time constraints. In an exclusive feature for Us Weekly, she discusses how parenting influences her hobbies, stating that she often ends up enjoying what her kids are into. Dewan recently welcomed her second child, daughter Rhiannon, with partner Steve Kazee, 3, Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis to reunite for Freaky Friday sequel. Everything to Know Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee Curtis are set to reunite for a sequel to their film, Freaky Friday. Curtis mentioned that during her travels promoting Halloween Ends, fans expressed interest in a new installment, prompting her to reach out to Disney about the possibility. Lohan also expressed enthusiasm for the project, stating they are leaving the decision to Disney emphasizing that they want to create something that resonates with audiences. 4. Christopher Maloney details particularly special Mariska Hargitay scene on Law & Order, Christopher Maloney, who has starred in 283 episodes of Asterisk Law & Order, Special Victims Unit alongside Mariska Hargitay, highlighted a particularly memorable scene in an exclusive interview with Us Weekly. He recalled a tense moment when his character, Stabler, was held at gunpoint by Lou Diamond Phillips, and he urged Benson, Hargitay, to take the shot. Maloney noted the significance of this scene, especially since Hargitay was eight months pregnant at the time, making it a special moment for both the characters and their real-life bond. 5. Actress Raina Hardesty talks plot twists and turns in body-swapping dark comedy. It's What's Inside Raina Hardesty, a rising actress known for her roles in Brockmire, Startup, and The Arrowverse. Stars as the eccentric party girl Brooke in Netflix's dark comedy, It's What's Inside. In the film, she showcases her versatility by portraying three different characters. In an interview, Hardesty discussed the movie's unexpected twists, its social media message, and advised viewers to pay close attention, as they might miss important moments. Six. Dylan O'Brien claims he was raising concerns on Maze Runner. Said ahead of 2016 injury, Dylan O'Brien expressed that he had safety concerns while filming *The Maze Runner*. The death cure before a serious injury sent him to the hospital. In a recent interview with Men's Health, he reflected on the importance of advocating for personal safety, stating that his concerns as a 24-year-old were not taken seriously, which ultimately led to his accident. O'Brien, who played the character Thomas in the franchise, 
Emphasize the need to prioritize self-care and not let others manipulate perceptions of being difficult. 7. How the cast of Saturday Night compares to their Saturday Night Live counterparts the film. Initially titled SNL 1975, we'll delve into the behind-the-scenes events leading to the inaugural broadcast of Saturday Night Live in October 1975. Directed by Jason Reitman and co-written with Gil Keenan, the screenplay is based on interviews with former cast members, writers, and crew. The cast features Lamorne Morris, Dylan O'Brien, Corey Michael Smith, Matt Wood, Gabriel LaBelle, Cooper Hoffman, and Finn Wolfhard from Stranger Things, with notable attention given to the actors' resemblance to their real-life counterparts. 8. Henry Winkler explains turning down John Travolta's role in Grease, for typecasting worries Henry Winkler revealed that he turned down the role of Danny Zuko in Grease, due to concerns about being typecast after playing the Fonz in Happy Days for a decade. During an appearance on Kelly Ripa's podcast, Winkler, now 78, expressed his fear that accepting the role would limit his future opportunities in acting. He starred in Happy Days from 1974 to 1984, earning three Emmy nominations for his performance. 9. Every Colleen Hoover novel getting the Hollywood treatment, author's TV and movie adaptations Colleen Hoover. A popular author known for her emotional novels is gaining significant attention in Hollywood with film adaptations of her works, particularly It Ends With Us. Originally published in 2016, the novel surged in popularity on Book Talk, becoming the top-selling print book of 2022 and prompting a film adaptation. Justin Baldoni secured the rights in 2019 and in January 2023. Hoover announced Blake Lively would play the lead role of Lily Bloom, although she faced some backlash regarding the casting. 10. Francesca Eastwood's son wants to follow in Grandpa Clint Eastwood's footsteps and become a director Francesca Eastwood shared that her son, Titan, who recently turned six, is showing a keen interest in the film industry, having spent his fifth birthday on the set of her project. Clawfoot she noted that he has a remarkable understanding of film and enjoys watching movies made by his grandfather, Clint Eastwood, including classics like Dirty Harry.